Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Handy again, bringing you my weekly craft. This week we are going to do rockin', rockin' pigs. And it's based on Miss Mel's story time this week, where she read Toot and Cuddle. So I love that book. Anyway, so we're going to make an attempt for these pigs to rock. And I have included a template that you can download, like I always do, and you can cut it out, or you can just make it however you feel free-handed. So here's an example of the template, and it has all the different parts on it, and a sample of what it looks like. Okay, and I'm going to first show you what it looks like when it's finished. Actually, I made two different ones. You can make it with the head in the middle, or you can make it on the side. But when you do it in the middle, it sometimes rocks a little better. Meh. But anyway, here's the one in the center, and I sent a picture that probably you saw on Facebook yesterday. Here's one. All right. Here's did something fall off? I don't know. But here is my second. All right. I actually like the pig on the side better. And you know what I didn't do? I forgot. But what you can do at the end is take a little curly. Okay? You can use a piece of thin paper. Or you could take a piece of ribbon and you curl it. And then just add it on the side. And Miss Andy forgot to do it. What can I tell you? You can dress your pig up too. Put a little hat on it. Or whatever you like. So, I, what I did is, sometimes I, I, I'm lucky and I could find pink plates. Miss Andy has all kinds of stuff that she just saves when she sees it. But, in case you don't have a pink plate, you can paint them. So, I made two samples of pink Paper plates. Sounds like a tongue twister, doesn't it? I know. Anyway, and I'm showing you, you know what? These are even hard to get. They're almost as hard to get as Clorox wipes now. Because, why do you think? Because lots of people have been in the house and they're looking for things to do. So, they're buying a lot to do crafts. But I had these already. So these are two, two different, actually they're the same brand, but one is a pure pink and one is a diva pink. And I think that's the, the pure pink is this and the diva pink is this. And if it's too bright, you can always mix it with some white, right? Okay, so I am going to take the brighter one. I actually like when you do bright. But when you do the pig, you can do the pig, if you have colored card stuff, you can use mine as just a template. Or if you don't, you can use it as the regular thing because I made them in pink. All right, so you take, so you see when I painted it, you see all the paint on the other side, just to show you, a little white mark. All right, we're gonna first, what do you think we're gonna do? We're gonna fold it in half. All right, so. I am folding the pig in half. The paper plate, I mean. All these peas are getting all mixed up. All right. Open it up. Well, you don't want it to look like that, right? So what do you think you have to do? You got to turn it the other way. But you have the crease in it, so at least you have a guide. And you try to make the ends meet. And sometimes you just have to take your finger... All right, watch what I do. Take your finger and just keep creasing it. Some people have a thing called a bone, which is really great because it helps you to make those creases really prominent. Okay, so we started the first part, right? You think it's finished? No. The next thing we do is we take the face, all right? The big, what is that? Is that a square? No, the circle. Okay, the circle and the bigger circle. 
Then we're going to take a littler circle, and I cut these out ahead of time to save time because it always ends up to be so long and it's hard for me to download it afterwards. All right, and then I'm going to, you can either glue this one first or you can make two dots for the nose first. Actually, I'm not going to take this color. I'm going to take a darker color so it shows up better. All right, I'm going to take the darker one. It's a good thing I had both you wouldn't be able to see the nose that well. All right. Then you're going to put the nose where? On top of the eye? No. You're going to put the nose right midway down. And this is what it's going to look like so far. Is that the face? Is that finished? No. We're going to take it and we're going to make two dots right in the middle. All right. I'm going to color it in. Use a magic marker. Use a colored pencil. You can even use a regular black ink pen. All right? So now we have the pig nose. All right. So the next thing we do is, what do you think? Let's make the eyes. Still have our magic marker or our pen or whatever. We're going to make two eyes. And I'm going to make one right here. Two more circles. And we're going to make one right here. All right, and you probably, you're not seeing what I'm doing, so I will show you. And there you go. And the next thing you do is you put on the ears. Here's the ears, right? So you take one ear, and I'm sorry if you're not seeing this real well, but actually my son usually helps me. But guess what? He's back at work. So I have to do it myself. And again, I'm going to get the dark. So, I better move everything else over here so I don't mess up anymore. All right, so we're going to take this and I keep putting the top back on so it doesn't dry up. All right, so we have these triangles. So here's one, and then you put the glue on the end like that. See the wide end? Because you want the ears to stick up. And you stick one on one side, right? And you can actually do it on the back either way, either the back of the, the pig or the front. So, now here we go again. I'm going to stick that one too. Actually, you know what? I think I like it better in the back. So we're going to take this up real fast and we're just going to move it because it's the same on both sides. And you know what I love about this purple glue? If it dries clear, but you know just how much you're putting on. Alright, here we go. Make a little cockeyed this time. Pig ears, right? Starting to look like a pig, isn't it? Oink, oink, oink. All right. So, I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. But in the meantime, we are going to take the legs. Now, in the template, I have a black attached for you. So, you don't have to glue that part. But Miss Andy has to glue hers. So, we're going to take the two. See? Here's the legs. Sorry showing you. And I'm going to glue those to the bottom. All right. Here's one. And here comes the second one. Try to line. You don't have to do this. That's right. So here's the second one. And then we're going to take those and we're going to put the glue on the bottom. Right there. Okay. I'm going to show you. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And we're going to take this, and we're going to put one over here. Right? Like halfway up. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And, of course, it's still not sticking. See? 
Sometimes I wait too long. And then we're going to take the other. We're kind of about the same. probably won't rock very well because what I'm but it'll stand and then I'm going to take my pig head and just because I like it on the side even though I told you you know what I did forget to do I to put on a little actually I don't even have them but you can draw little cheeks and I do not have them you can cut them real fast. Or, if you have a circle puncher, which is so amazing. And if you look, Michael's is reopened. And I'm sure you all know that they have coupons. Or your moms and dads know that. Maybe your big sisters and brothers. And you can cut those out and bring them in. And save. Sometimes, like, half off. So wait to see when you can get a coupon and go over and buy a circle hole punch because you will have so much fun and they come in all different sizes. And all you do is just clamp it. I love them. All right, but to show you, I am going to make, now I had them in the darker color, but I'm just going to put these on. That looks fine. Okay, and there we go. All right. Then we're going to take this, and what are we going to use again? We're going to use more of the glue sticks. So, Miss Andy goes through so many glue sticks. I'm sure you guys do too. All right. And then I'm going to put him right near the end. I'm going to hold it down. Count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm so thirsty. Okay. All right. And guess what we have? Yeah, we have a pig, and I call it a rocking pig, but it kind of rocks, but not really great. Sometimes, and I'll show you the, oh, there it goes, all right. And don't forget, you can put that curly piece of ribbon or paper on the end with your tail. All right, this is it. Miss Andy wishes you all a nice day. A nice Thursday, a nice Friday, a nice weekend, and I'll see you with another class next week. Love you all.